Hey guys, can start right here. And sorry I'm filming this with the iPhone, but I happen to be editing this picture from a photo shoot that we did last year. And in fact, it's a video that I was never going to uh, post because we lost most of the footage from behind the scene. But today I'm editing these pictures and I'm like, these were such a nice picture. We're talking about a photo shoot that I've done outdoors with the Canon EOS R mid last year, very sunny, bright day. And uh, I got to shoot with a 35 millimeter f1.8, the 50 millimeter f1.2, and the 85 millimeter f1.2, all are f lenses. And uh, even though the video is missing a bunch of uh, the footage, so I put something together with what we were able to rescue. And at least I want to show you these images and see what these three lenses can do outdoors. So why don't we watch it? So um, today we've been shooting with a variety of RF lenses. So this is actually my first outdoors uh, photo shoot with these lenses. And you know, I've been shooting with Sony for about five years. And all I can say that whatever comes out of this lens and camera combination, um, I have to admit is a lot more pleasing than what I get from my 85 F1.4 from Sony, for, uh, for example. This is an F1.2. Now, everything looks like cinematic right everything looks like out of a movie that is the feel that you get with this lens so we're gonna be shooting with a 50 millimeter f 1.2 rf lens i'm loving this lens so far and this is what we're creating right now with yana yana what's your instagram uh, Yana there you go. Follow her on Instagram if you want to join her private club too. What I'm trying to do here is, you know, you never shoot like directly to the sun, but I think with this lens, that's changed. I'm really liking the effect of the sun blasting her face, um, racing my shutter as fast as possible, um, keeping my aperture F2, and I'm liking what I see through the viewfinder. We'll see what happens when we open the images in Lightroom. Let's change locations now. Um, so we were shooting there. Let's try something. You know what, let's try something over here. So one of the things that I'm loving about the EOS R is the uh, ability of tilting the screen so I don't have to go down uh, very low. Using the, uh, using the screen to actually preview my exposure, make the necessary changes without breaking my back and that's a good day to me. And again, these are shots that probably I wouldn't be able to do against the sun, but also, dynamic range is really, really good on this camera. I don't know what the dynamic range is on this Canon. I gotta look it up, so I'll list it somewhere in here. But, um, you know, the sky and the highlights, they look pretty, pretty good. Also, the EVF is so clear. It looks like I'm watching TV at home right now. to shoot at this location for a while and uh, there is no trespassing sign the gate is open so I'm assuming that it's okay to come here so we're gonna shoot against these pipes I don't know what's going on here this place has been under construction for the past three years um, it's kind of like a storage place or 
thing is that I noticed is that the lens flares on this lens when they happen they're actually beautiful check out the picture so I am going to swap the 50 for the 35 f 1.8 remember the 35 is a 449 dollars this one is like about 2600 dollars lens uh, we're gonna compare the difference between $450 and $2,600 right now. Let's do it. Oh my God, look at this. See, the ambient light wraps the face around. <laughs> curve it. So this is a good thing, you know, you curve it and kind of like the ambient, the ambience, you know, it's gonna illuminate her, especially when you have something metallic. Why it's a little bit harder, but metallic, it causes the light to wrap once you curve this thing. So the light's not even hitting here. The light's all the way over there. Everyone uses the word cinematic like too often, but I don't have any other word to express, you know, the look of these images. It's very, very nice. The other thing that I noticed is that this camera, this sensor, uh, and the combination with the lens, they handle dynamic range really, really good. And you probably have seen some pictures where we exposed for the model and the sky is blue. So it really blew me away, to be honest with you. Um, so I can't wait to shoot more with this camera. Uh, we use the 85 millimeter f1.2. We use the 35 millimeter f1.8, which is a cheap lens, 440, uh, 450, I think it is. And we use the 50 millimeter, which is by far, I think, my favorite RF lens. So guys, let me know which image you like the most or which lens you like the most. Post your comments down below and let's uh, start a little debate. So until the next time, thank you. And thank you, Yana. Thank you.